Hey everyone, welcome okay. back to the channel. We're back with another Age of Sigmar Battle Report. That we are. Bringing yeah. you a uh, Sons of Bayamat versus Flesh Eater Court game in the new GHB. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, looking forward to this one, Cam. Hopefully I'm not going to get my head caved in too much by what is admittedly a very strong faction at the minute. It can be really, really good. Um, obviously, I don't... I know this has a lot of strengths. I haven't actually looked too much into how Flesh Eaters are performing at the moment in the meta. This is just... Still doing okay by the looks of things in the I, latest meta watch that I, I saw come out yeah, a day or two ago. They're performing well. They're no Grave Lords. But no, they're, God they're, no. They are a decent list at the moment. Yeah. They're a decent faction. Yeah, and to be fair, I say I get my head kicked in. Sons of Bayamat aren't performing too badly themselves. Aye. I'm perhaps playing a list that maybe isn't most meta given that I don't have any wizard, um, but we'll see how it goes in terms of managing to hit those battle tactics, because that's that's seemingly what the season's around is, kind of, can you hit those battle tactics out from the, the general um, handbook, yeah. but also, what are your personal ones like as well? So it's a bit of a tough one. Absolutely. Having said all of that, we'll get into the battle plan that we're playing today. I'll swap across for yourselves. Mm -hmm. We're playing Lines of Communication, which is... Uh, got us having three lovely objectives across the board. Um, it's standard scoring, so it's score one, score two, score more, and your battle tactic for an additional two. The only gimmick, so to speak, of in this battle plan is that we can cause a disruption. The player that's going second gets to nominate a phase in which a disruption to command points can occur. So on a three up, I have to, or on a three up, I would make Cam have to spend an additional command point to issue any command. So say, for example, we go into combat, Cam wants to issue all out attack. I've nominated combat to be the phase that the disruption occurs in. On a three up, Cam's going to have to spend two points in a, uh, rather than one. So that's the only gimmick, so to speak, of in this battle plan. With that said, I will run you through the gear breaker side of the list. It's very, very simple, ladies and gentlemen. I have my four giants here. These, these are the four painted giants. So whilst they mightn't all look like gate breakers, they are today, okay? <laughs> they are today. Ignore Brod just chilling in the background there. Um, so I'm running two bosses of the stomp. Uh, battalions, which gives me my unified uh, to get me a two drop and also gives me plenty of artifacts to play around with. So, starting from left to right, the dude with the two big shields, that is my general today, this fella at the back of those three gargants. He has the command trait of Furious Temper, so once per game, regardless of his wounds characteristic, he can fight on his top profile. He also has the artifact of power, the Great Wrecker. So on unmodified hits of six, I do D3 in addition to whatever else I was going to do in that attack sequence. Moving to the right, we have the extra calloused feet on Broad, aka Broad the Gatebreaker today. Um, that gives him minus three rend on his almighty stomp and a flat damage three rather than D3 on the almighty stomp, so quite nice. Finally, on the gatebreaker closest to yourselves, ladies and gents, is uh, the gatebreaker that has the shield of glowy protectiveness. That means any minus one rend uh, attacks are a flat zero rend, and any sixes that I save do a mortal back to camp today. That is the Sons of Baymat style of the list. We will take you into the Flesh Eater Court. It's smashing. So today I'm going to be playing a more gauntlet. So there's plenty of ghouls coming on today. Starting with my mandatory choices, I'll be running three units of crypt ghouls. Two of them are units of ten. And I have one nice large block of thirty hiding back here. So that'll be my three battle line options for this battle. For my general, I will be taking a nicely snug in here. I bring Arch Regent on foot. He will have the command trait and the item that's mandatory for the faction so it's the coronet for the item and it is i can't remember the command tree off the top of my head but yes it's the mandatory one i was just gonna say i don't think i'll use it too much this yeah, game yeah so going further forward from that i have two battalions in this list i have the antidoran acolytes and i also have a command battalion for the extra artifact so going from there i have a ghoul king here he has that extra artifact, which has the Dermal Robe. Yeah. He will also be having Merciless Blizzard as his spell. So I'm hoping to get some good shotguns he's, off this He is the one to be scared of, yeah. then. <laughs> Going further along, I have another Ghoul King on Zombie Dragon, heading here. No fancy items, but the spell he's taken is the range Transformation. My Aberrant Arch Regent, which I didn't chat about before, the spell he's taken is Hawfrost, to be having that. I have a Crypt Ghoul Courtier. A Vargulf courtier, and then I just have a standard zombie dragon, no hero on top of that. To round off my list, 
I have a six man unit of Crypt Horrors, which I want to get in there and do some damage. I'm really hoping I can get some Hawfrost off on them, because other than the lack of rend, yeah. they're quite a solid unit. Yeah, yeah. No, that sounds good. That sounds like a good little list. I am fearful as ever of your Flesh Eater courts, because I've, uh, I've been bounced off the walls a few times <laughs> by them. <laughs> well, it's whiffy. It, it, it's always kind of brutal when a guy that runs into unit of 10 and that unit of 10 standing at the end of the game. <laughs> <Yeah. turn. laughs> yes, yes. It's happened a few times. I may I may have a little bit of PTSD about it. Um, <laughs> given that I, <laughs> given I outdropped Cam today, um, we are looking at Cam going first mm -hmm. to lead us into battle round one. So with that, Cam, we'll pass it over to yourself. Battle round one. Wonderful. So I'm going to go with a nice, easy start to this game because I don't see myself getting into combat first turn. So I'll set up for the battle round two. Hopefully I don't get double turned, but we'll wait and see. Here's hoping we do. Right, okie dokie. So what I'll go for is I'll go for magical dominance. Makes sense. So just cast a spell without being unbound is what I'm after. Okie dokie. And um, that sounds great to me. Uh -huh. Hero phase, my friend. Yep. Am I in 30 of something that you can cast with? I am. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick to heroic willpower from... Gatebreaker Bron today. Gatebreaker Bron. Gatebreaker Gate Bron. Right. That's okay. a tongue twister to get your head around. That <laughs> right it is. And for myself, uh, I don't think I'll utilize whatever I get here, but I will try and grab a command point and I will do it with my Ghoul King here. Yeah. Sounds good. Are you get to yep, there for the four. So that's an extra command point. So with that, go into hero phase. Primal so, dice, my friend. Ah, of course, primal. Uh, I am generating one for us. I As are you. Open, and then with my Acolytes Battalion on a free up, I get an extra one, which I also get. Oh, damn. So a total of three dice extra for myself. Right, so I'll just go for it. Um, I'll start with my Ghoul King here. Yep. I'm just going to go for a bog standard Mystic Shield. Sounds good to me. So here's the initial cast. On a 10. On a 10. And then this is where I start throwing in Primal Dice. Because I've yes, got sir. quite a few. So... I mean, the thing is that I might. I, I'm only really intending to cast one spell. So one and two. And I was looking for the six because I wanted a double six on the primal for the instant cast. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So you know, there's an Mystic Shield. I'll just Mystic Shield this 10 man squad there. Yep. And honestly, I will not cast any more. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah. Having those three primal dice, the, the Andorian Acolyte Battalion is lovely. It really yeah. is, especially when it pulls off and gets you the extra well, lock in. Well, seeing a six on the initial dice, you're feeling great. Yeah. If I saw a one, I would have been yes. very scared. Was, was what I was hoping for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need a Mystic Shield counter. There we are. Ah, smashing. For the, for the boys at the front. Okie koki. Leaving your cast in there. Mm -hmm. Anything else in your hero phase, Cam? Um, to check my order, I think I might be about there, I believe, and again, I'm a little bit rusty, I haven't played my Flesh Eaters in, well, let's say my Flesh Eaters, I haven't played Paul's Flesh Eaters <laughs> yes. in, in a couple of, in a month these, or so. These aren't Cameron's models, but Paul has very, very kindly donated them to the cause, in terms of us being allowed to use them for the channel. So thank you very the, much, the, Paul. Nah, you're, a, the, you're an absolute gen. They're very fun to play. I yes. do and do enjoy them. I wish I had them myself. Yes I, yes. I have no reason to do it now, though. Yeah, well, that's it. You can just dip in, can't you? You can dip in. Yeah, my summon's a movement phase. So with that, I'll start my movement phase. Okay, so this is how the board currently looks, ladies and gents. We'll be right back as soon as Cam's done his movement. When you're ready, mate. Right, and with that, that is my movement phase done. I haven't really done too much. What I've done is I've just shifted up a couple of my 10 man's ghoul units, which are going to be my screens, just to kind of clip the objectives, just to cap for this turn. So that'll be a one, two, and more. And with my ghoul king using the throne, I have brung on 10 ghouls here. So they're just going to add a little bit more defense to my core, because I am worried about getting double turned here. That, that's worst case scenario. Yeah. But we'll wait and see how it goes. With that, I'm not ranged to shoot, I'm not going to be charging, and I'll end my first turn. For a five victory points. A lovely five. There we are. Okie cokey. We'll go on to you. Yes, let's let's go on to me. Let's. Um I'm gonna pick lead into the maelstrom, so basically have a giant charge and something still be alive at the end of the turn within three. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be the plan, I think. Um, hero phase, we will roll for a command point. 
which I generate on broad for myself. The gate breaker broad. I'll try and turn it away right one, but I'll be with my arch region in the middle. Who gets it as well? Arcane dice. Um, let's roll, but it doesn't even matter. Woo! Nope. Well, yep. And then my other one. Yes. So, um, but you're not casting, so. We'd be on three, yeah. If only I had something well. to cast, eh? Um, now, is there anything else in hero phase that I need to do? I'm Sons of Beamat, so no, not really. Uh, what's your battle tactic going to be? Um, it's okay. led into the maelstrom, so. Yeah, you, you said that. I need to just get one to charge and something to stay alive. So, yep. we will see, we will see. Um, Okie Koki, with that, we will go into our movement. This is the current state of our board, ladies and gents. I will swap over. You can see the Gargans are a ways away from the Flesh Eater Courts, but hopefully we can close the gap and get a charge in and have something still alive at the end of the turn. Be right back. All right, that is the end of Giants' movement phase. It's always nice and quick with Giants. Um, we have moved everything up the board, surprisingly to nobody. Cameron got a redeploy off over here, if I transition across. This unit of uh, ghouls managed to dip back at five inches, wasn't yeah, it, Cameron? five inches, so um, good roll. So a really good redeploy. Um, Going to make it really tough for me to get the lead into the maelstrom off this turn, I think. So, we'll go into shooting. I'm going to get three shots in, I'm looking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let's have a look, double check the range. I want to say it's 16 inches on a Gargant lob, specifically a gate breakers. Um, Hurl Boulder is currently 18, because they're on top bracket. Let's right. go, let's go! Okay. Um, do you have ways to heal your... Uh, yeah, absolutely. So. The vast majority of my heroes will heal D3 every hero of my hero phase. That's something that I was liking to know. Um, Okie okay, cokey, I'm going to throw a rock at the block of 30. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw a rock... Ooh. I'm going to throw a rock at the Crypt Horrors mm -hmm. twice. Twice. And what is the rend on these rocks? Minus three. Minus three. All right. Well, whatever it hits is going to get clapped. A bit of a clapping. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, this is the first one mm -hmm. going into the block of 30. This is threes and twos. Take your next. It, it hits. Wounds. So I've got a six up save, so it'll go through because of the round. That is four damage total. So I've got four six up wards. Which I pass none of them. Four ghouls bite the dust. And are you happy with me rolling both of these at the same That's time? Absolutely then, fine. Yep, I was going to say it might I, as well. I'm not going to change my all defense because it goes through. I'm just eating this. Um, so this is threes and twos once again. Mm -hmm. Okay, love to see one the one. Fail. Twos goes through minus three. So, so four, four damage again. So six wards. Sorry, four wards again. So that will fully kill a knight. That is the leader. Okie dokie. That is shooting. Not not terrible. Not terrible at all. Very adequate. What are we looking at here? We're looking at a seven. Mm -hmm. Very makeable. Very very, very makeable. Um, he says, yep. as he fails the battle, uh, <laughs> as, as he fails the battle tactic. Yeah. Well, you, got, you got a reroll. You got. Options. I got a reroll. I got an option. Um, so we're going to do the gate breaker over here into. Oh, it's looking good. That's you, looking you, tasty. Yes. Yep. So we're going to go plowing straight into those ghouls. Into those ghouls. Mm -hmm. um, we will next. Go for a charge on to add. I want to say it's makeable. It's a harder charge, but it's definitely possible. Ooh. Right there, down he goes. Down I go. Peak timber. Ten. Yeah, yeah I would say a ten there. Yeah, you're looking at a ten. Yeah. Cool. Let's give it a go. Stranger things have happened, ladies and gents. Stranger things. There's a five. Nope. Um. Do you have a reroll open if you want? I will me? spend the free command point mm -hmm. and use it for a reroll. Nah, nah not happening on a six. Um, that would be a twelve, even if it was in. I don't think it's in. Mm -hmm. uh, um, roll dice. If you went for that, you'd probably end up losing the one two more. That's true. So you have got to make that decision if you want to do I that. I feel it still anyway. So we're all good there. Mm -hmm. We are all good there. Okay. Um, the trampling charge. 
It's been a little while since I've uh, played Sun So on a two up, it's going off for D6 for four mortal wounds. So four wards, I make none of them. Um, right, okay, I'll take these four men. Okie koki. Um, okay, we go into combat. The monstrous rampage I'm going to pick is mm -hmm. going to be to roar you. Uh -huh. You are roared. Successfully done. All right. So, I need to not kill you here. <laughs> You're trying to whittle me down about me perishing. So, I'm going to use my pulverizing strike. Okay. So, on a four up, I would deal 4d6. Mm -hmm. Please don't be a four. Yes, baby. Yes. So it, you love it to see whiffs. it. It whiffs completely. Okay. My combat phase ends. Mm -hmm. It goes to yourself. Uh, right, okay. This is why you roared me. Okay, wonderful. Um, my ghouls will be striking. I was not expecting them to get this far in all honesty. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> okay, so... Right, so I have... Six ghouls remaining. Yes. They are within range of the courtier, which means I will... Ah, uh, balance the roster for you, sorry. It's an ability, but I think it actually works off how many models are left in the unit. Okay, cokey. Oh, wait, no. It improves when there's more of them. Right, right. That's fine. So, yes, it happens all the time now, because this was one of the change things. They used to just get extra rend when there was so many in the unit, and now right. they're basically, like, on a six to hit. You get this thing. It basically automatically wounds. Not mortal wounds, ah. just a wound. I see, I see. Okie dokie, let's go. Right. So I hit on fours, so a lot of misses. And with my subtraction, if you missed two seconds. Of course, Matt. It's no worries at all. Yeah, the blood lolly from Morgan, yeah, it adds. I had a wait, no, that, that's reading different. It's actually only has 12, so actually I don't even think I get boundless frosty. Okay. It's been so long since I've played this. Sorry, viewers, it's been a little while. It buffs if it has 10. Cool. Cool. So those are all wounds. That yep. was a miss. And these were a wound. So that's just three saves, no, four saves total, at no rend. No rend, so um, four ups. Making one of them, taking two. Yeah, just one two damage. damage. Two damage. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Um, and now we would have Battle Shock. Yep. So we're in 18 of him because the coronet, I don't take it for myself. Yep. And naturally, you won't have any to take. Correct indeed. So that will be the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Scoring wise, I have one, I have two, I have more. And I got my battle tactic. Thank gosh for that. We get five points. Yeah, cheeky five. Only five, and then we go into the roll for turn. Yeah, let's go for priority. Here we go. Big dice this time. Oh, four. It's mediocre. Two. two. No, nope. I'll take it. Definitely take it. Of course. Right, okie dokie. So, now, I get a plan. So, battle tactic, I'm not going to get out of the zone. And also, unfortunately, because you're very high, I'm not going to kill one of your guys. Well, I've seen you do it before, but in the current position you're in, I don't think you could. Nah, I was gonna say I need some high rolling. Yes, Blizzard. That that ain't that's that's too risky, right? Well, what we'll do is we'll pick battle tactics and we'll be straight back. Yes, sir. Right. So after consulting with the flesh eater tactics, I'm going to go for the royal hunt. So for this one, I pick an enemy monster in the battlefield that has less than five wounds allocated to it. So it'll be this gatebreaker here with two. And I complete the tactic of that monster is slain that its turn. If it is killed by a friendly aberrant, I get an additional victory point. He is my aberrant. So, I mean, if I can get a great, hey. but I don't think he's going to be the one killing him. That would him. be a ballsy ass play. <laughs> yeah. man. I would give him that. I'd give him that. Right, okie dokie. Now what I'll do is that I'll go on to my magic. 
So, well, actually, no, we it's won't. Hero that, phase, my friend. Uh, yeah, I've got all the, the mandatory things to do first. So, first things first, I'll pick my battle tactic. Next, we'll do heroic abilities. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, you've put me in a rock and hard place. I'm going to heroic willpower again. Mm -hmm. So, to try and dispel. Yep, you're going to try and dispel? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. So, if whoever you pick, it's going to be in the Yeah, room. exactly. Um, I am going to go for, um, I'll go for heroic leadership with my yeah. Aberrant Arch Regent, who gets it. Very nice. Right, okay. Primals. Yes, sir. After yourself. Nope. I don't generate. I do. You do. And then I'll see if my Acolyte thing gives me another one, which it does. It does. So, so you're on, on two. two. Yep. Right, okay, well, I know what you're waiting to try and unbuy, so we might as well might start Might as well with just it. get it done over, yeah. So, my guy up here, he is going to cast Merciless Blizzard. Yes, sir. So, he's been chilling there. Please roll low, Cameron. So, naturally, he gets the plus one for his Dermal Robe. Yep. So, here's my initial cast. Uh, oh, my dear, God. dear, he, dear. He's in risky territory, because that's a four. I'd have to use two primals to have a chance. And still looking for the 12 as well. So, it's, I mean, it's well within possibility, but... It's it's seeing ones of that. It's it always risk. takes the wind out of your sails, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. It's it, it's too low going. As awful as it sounds, still a massive positive for you because because of the threat of merciless blizzard, I couldn't couldn't finest hour, which uh, I really would have loved to have yeah. done. But hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. Right, that's fine. So next, we'll go with my arch regent. He is going to try and cast hoarfrost. Yep. Okay, eight. So I'm gonna add a primal dice. Oh, oh it's right. a runner. Hey, there we go. There it is. There's the double six again. It's coming in hot. Okay, the unit he is going to pick will be. So I can either go with my thirty man block or my guys over here. Yeah. Um. However, I think I'm gonna go for these guys. So I'm gonna good. go with a good ghost. Well, actually, I'll roll and pick. It'll be a one. Uh, well, I'll change their hit rolls to one, I guess. Plus one, I, yeah. I really, really want to get some, some more rounds. Yeah, it's unlucky on that roll there. But I think that's more valuable. Okay, and then last ability will be with my leader um, yep. looking on Toby Dragon. He'll cast his War Sprell, uh, Scroll ability. So that is called... Dun, dun, dun. Right. Malefic Hunger. So it's casting value of six. And then until my next hero phase, I can reroll wound rolls for attacks made by melee weapons for fr friendly flesh eaters within 16 of the caster. Cool. It's pretty big. So, oh, well, that was just my normal roll on the double six. Um, I don't think non primal ones, because that would be my normal one, do get the bonus, but I'll add a primal to it. And that'll be a one. And so you're on a 13. 13. And yes, and I'll just check the rule for something. Just to see if it does make it an auto cast. Yeah, it's one of those dicey ones because it's un unusual to well, for me to cast on a double six initially. Yes. God bless this season. I loathe it. Sons of Bear Map players, rise with me. Where's my Ungabunga tactics? I just want to bang things out. That's all. That's all I want to do. Oh, okay. Well, I think, yeah, that, that still auto-casts. Cool. I didn't realise when you do that, players get a primal dice, like both players, so we would actually ah. have plus two. So we kept going, but then also the caster, hand cast more. So there we go. I've, I've learned a little bit more there. Learning every day, Cam. Gotta love it. Learning every day. Right, okay. So continuing with my hero phase, I'm going to go with my courtiers. They're going to roll the dice and see if they can bring things back. So yep. firstly, my crypt gas courtier. So... The fives can bring back a knight, so one of the fives will bring back a knight. That one's a failure. Mm -hmm. So the knight goes here. I can bring back four serfs to a unit. So I'll bring back four ghouls to this unit that died before from a rock. Yep. Right, and that's them. And then my Vargulf courtier will do the same. This recursion is crazy! It's good for a little bit of damage. So five would return. There's only four perished. So. Here they are. Two, 
two, four, six. Yep, adds up nicely. Um, I'm not going to cast a chalice yet. I really wanted that blizzard off so badly. Yeah, it's a gutter. It. It's a gutter. Yeah. Right, okay. With that, that should conclude all my hero phase. Yeah. And with that, we'll go on to movement. This is indeed the current state of our board. Giants pressed up. Let's see what Cam can do. Be right we'll be back. back. Right, and with that, that concludes my this, uh, primary part of my movement. The only thing I have left at the end of the phase is bringing on my 20 ghouls, which will come from my arch region here. But naturally, was it? Um, I'll have to go for that. So they will be coming on in a sneaky spot at the back. Sneaky, sneaky. So basically, they're coming on on your board edge. Yep. So 20 ghouls are going to rock up there. Oh no, not the sneaky ghouls. Yeah, these ones have been hiding. Ah, uh, these are the elite ghouls. The right? elite, the elite combat They're ghouls. An absolute crap the squad. Coming in on the fucking rubber dinghies. Yeah. <laughs> I rate it. There they are. Hang on, let's get the, let's get the, the queue up. There's Ooh. twenty of these boys chilling. It's a lot of boys. There they are. Those bastards. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, forty, fifteen. I think I might have too many. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. No, perfect twenty. Perfect twenty. No more of snuck in there. Right, fantastic. So that'll be all of movement, and with that, I would go on to shooting. So here, I pushed up, and um, I retreated my ghouls out there because naturally I wanted to get more heavy hitters in, and he does redeploy, but that's fine. I anticipated it. He went four, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So we'll go with shooting. So first things first, are you in range? Because I think I put him out of range there. I wasn't hoping for you to go back so far, but I did probably mismove him. He's fine. He can chill. Yep. I'll go firstly with the Pestilent Breath from my Zombie Dragon here. Um, so. I will, I've got three command points. Mm -hmm. I will all out defense. All right, smashing. So, um, the Pestilent Breath does have a Rend minus three. Just so you know, I don't know what your base save is. Would put me on sixes, so it, it's it still worth. You get some value, yeah, cool. Still worth. So, it's hitting on threes, one attack, which hits. Wounds on twos, which wounds. So, one save at minus two. Whew! Nope, goes through. Does D6 damage for a mighty six. And good breath. On to eight. Okay. Um, that concludes the all of my shooting. Yep, so okay. With that, we'll look to charge. So I'm going to go over ghouls here, my 30 man block. They would go five, which would get them in. However. Going further would help me a lot. Sorry. You're all right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-roll that. The okay. reason for that is that I want them to go further because I know the moment if I try and put that strike dragon in, he's going to get rock bottomed and Brod's going to be in the fight. Yeah. So if I can get my ghouls around far enough, it means it'll block that. Oh, God, that's not good. Okay, that's seven. That's better, but it's probably not enough. I still think there's an angle from a rock bottom. There's definite rock bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Because I can put them an inch away, so it's yeah kind of a here is the angle for rock bottoming. Yeah. But it, it the intention was very very good. I saw you setting up for it and was like, "Fuck's sake, not the not the anti rock bottom tech." <laughs> yeah. I'm not ready for this. Right. Okay. I'm gonna just try and put a lot of faith on these ghouls and see if they can get you. I don't think they are killing you. You yeah. throw enough shit at the wall, Cam. You never know what'll stick. Yeah. You just never know. <clears throat> it's a lot of ghouls. Yeah, there's many. 30 men. to be precise. Many gribblers. Many gribblers.
get logo there. Now, what I'll do is. Let me drag them with there, you're there. So, you kind of want to put my knights in, but without my dragon, I don't like not having too many in. It's a bit of a pain in the backside situation. Mm. Uh, what I do, I think I just slam into that gargant and hope for the best, maybe. Yeah. Again, if I did manage to charge, I could roar. Decisions, decisions. And then again, actually, no, I'm not getting into that. No, I think we're just going to have to leave it at that. It's yeah. not ideal. It's not what I wanted. I would have wanted the blizzard, but we'll wait and we'll potentially see. I'm not getting anything there. I'm not killing that gargant. I'm fairly swalled off right now. Cool. Uh, let's go for it. So we'll go over here. So firstly, monstrous abilities. I will roar. Uh -huh. No, I won't. Yeah, it's not going off. Fantastic. So uh, I will use this unit over here. Ooh, I wonder. Yeah, if you've been free, yeah, it might be. Yeah. So I'll stomp if that's okay. Yeah, as that's well. fine. Yeah. No, I no, won't. <laughs> he's, he's not fancying it. With that, we'll go on to combat. So, I'm going to try and pile in without bringing Broad into this equation. You'll go there, you'll go there. A bit of slingshotting. Uh, what's the attack range of Broad? Three inches. Three inches. Cool. Three inches on every gate breaker. Cool, cool, good to know. And I will struggle to get all my attacks in unless I want to bring Broad into this equation, which I kind of don't want to. I want to keep him isolated as much as possible for now. So you are still in range there, so he moves a bit further along, he moves along, he moves along. If I'm lucky, you're out of range. Let's see, let's see. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so with that, So 24 of them should be in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But seven, no, no, it'll be 23 of them are in. Okay, good. Okay. So here we go. So first things first, is there anything you want to do? All out defense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that. yeah. Okay, let's hope for the best. And then with that. So just as a reminder to my viewers. He's in range. He's the one that has the shield of glory protecting this. So any minus ones are currently minus nada. But I believe they're all minus nada anyway. Correct, they? yes. So... We're looking at a three up save here. Okay, so we're going to grow lots of dice here. So I'll do them in segments. So it's yeah, that sounds good. Four, six, seven, four, five, six. I've just pre ordered seven, a shit ton of fusiliers two, and I'm like, eight, I don't ten, know if I actually have eleven, 60 dice. 12. <laughs> um, I might 12, need to buy more dice. dice. <laughs> right, I'll be doing this pretty much twice. Yep, sounds good, buddy. First things first. I've got all of my misses, to which there are a decent amount. What are you hitting on? So if fours normally, and I'm just gonna double check something from Morgan, because I don't normally use this. Not an awful yeah, looking roll. Yeah, it could have been a lot better. Okay, yeah. I've seen a lot of misses there. I see this giant standing at the end of the turn. That's fine. So there will be a degree of auto wounds. Mm -hmm. So there's six auto wounds there. Yeah. That's a miss. Then these get to be rolled to wound. Uh, to which I wound on 
fours, but I get to re-roll because of your in range. Yeah, yeah pin. So that's three extra. So that is two, four, nine total. Yep, nine saves so far. Okay. Um. So plus one because there's no rend. I'm all out defense, so I'm on threes. Mm -hmm. That all of it, yeah? Yeah, uh, for that half, yeah. For that half, shall yeah. I do it now? Yeah, if you want. So I am taking two. Ten. Two so far, putting me on ten. Okay, and here's the other side of them. Trying to figure out if that one looks better than the one before, but I think it kind of looks about the same. Yeah, so there's uh, one more auto wound, and actually I've got more hits. That, that, that's worked out slightly better, yeah. but not by much. Rerolls, so two successful, but the rerolls all successful. So how many am I looking at, my friend? So five plus seven, so twelve to take, please. Six, nine, don't you run from me, boy. Let's count that again. Ah. Three, six, nine, twelve. Don't want to shortchange any dice. Mm -hmm. um, threes again. Mm -hmm. uh, I am taking an additional two. Yep. Put me on twelve. He is absolutely not dropping this turn. He is not dropping. Right, well, I will feed in Frenzy. Yep, and then makes I'll, sense. I'll, I'll do it again and hope for the best. You never but, know, he could really pop off this turn and I can yeah. roll like absolute dog shit. Those rolls have been pretty damn good. And oddly enough, I have cold hands, so who knows? Maybe having chilled hands is the way forward. Okay, here we go. So a similar crack, this is half of them. Sounds good. That looks a lot better. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, seven auto wounds, which is useful. Seven auto wound them, so let's grab them seven dice. Right. So then that's three successes, but then re rolling for an extra one success. So that's a total of 11 saves. 11 saves, so I've got seven in my hand. There's 11. Mm -hmm. Threes again. Taking two. Mm -hmm. Two's the standard. Yeah, it's probably not statistical though. Right now, this is the last little batch. Yes, sir. I should have been keeping track of my sixes. Ah, oh, to get the uh, bounce yeah, back. Yeah, bounce back. Yeah, he's the bounce back guy. Oh, well. Count them Two, on this one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine auto wounds for that one. That's yeah. good. One re-roll. And that's five extra ones. Fourteen? Yep, fourteen. Six, eight. 10, 12, 14. Uh, That's a lot of sixes. I see two fails. Two fails and yep. three, six sixes. So six mortal wounds dealt back, my friend. Yeah, yeah. He's not the unit that going to. So I save one, five will perish. Okie cokey. I should have kept track of that. I might have got a few out of that. Um, oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. Right, okay. So you get straight back. Yep. Okie dokie. So the almighty stomp is two attacks. I get plus one because you're under two, uh, under three wounds, sorry. So mm -hmm. it's going to be um, plus one to hit this is. So it's twos and threes. Mm -hmm. Both hit. One wounds at minus two. One at minus two, so that will go through. Uh, for D3. For one. one. All right, one more save. Save that. The death grip is threes. Hits, twos. 
fails to wound. Love to see it. Fort Crusher Flail is the big one. So he has taken 16, so he gets five attacks. This is fours and threes. Ooh, throwing that one away. So that is two at minus three for four damage each. Okay, so then we'll go through. So that's eight damage total. Correct. So yes, eight wards. Which I save. None of them. Eight will perish. Yeah. Take two from there. There. I'll go from this side. Oh, I've not that day, sorry. It's all right. Six. He was on 16. Eight. Yeah. No, sorry. It was 18. Right, okie dokie. I think that concludes combat, yeah? It does indeed. Um, so that'll be it. So I'm still holding an 18, so they will not need to take a battle shock. Yeah. Right, okay. So when it comes to scoring, your mighty makes right, yeah? Whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, you will be on what right now? So I'm on 18, 18 currently. So you, you'll hold all three objectives still, because yep. I can't take that. I was hoping to kill him. Uh, and unfortunately, my tactic fails, so I'll get a fat zero for that one. Oh dear, a fat zero. It's fine, it's fine. It's going to be a stamina game. It, it, it definitely is. It definitely is. And very, very shortly, I run out of steam in terms of what I can pick. So we'll wait and see how it goes. Let's it's, go. It's that thing. There's a meme at play. There's a meme play? Okay. How many wounds on this fella? He has four. If he gets into there, he can throw. What's his save? It's pretty poor. It's at best a five up. It is a five up. Okay, I will go for splat. Mm -hmm. So I need to kill an enemy hero in shooting phase. Okay, right. So I'm gonna pick this guy. That, that gentleman there. Yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Um, hero phase, I will attempt to I have two, well, back to three command points currently. Mm -hmm. um, finest hour, what would I finest hour to do what? To do what? Sorry, having a little think. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we'll roll for the command point on Gatebreaker Brog. Yep. He fails. What would you like to do, my friend? Um, I will go for a command point with my Arch Regent over here. Which he gets. Very nice. Uh, arcane dice doesn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just doesn't matter because I'm not casting. Uh, and that'll be that. So, this is the current state of our board. We'll be right back as soon as I've done some movement. All right, back from Gargant movement. We did a run over here on the War Stop. War Stomper Gatebreaker. Um, he basically just ran for the sake of my battle tactic uh, or my Grand Strat more than anything uh, yeah. um, and then stayed pretty much still so he, he moved about a, a half inch in the grand scheme of things. The General Gatebreaker has moved over because I'm going for Splat um, mm -hmm. so he is now within range of the guy that I need to shoot so he is hoping for it. Um, let's get into the shooting phase. We'll do the mandatory one that I have to do first so one shot Going into the um, the ghouls. Yep. So it's a three. Hits. Two. Wounds. Minus three for four damage. Go through. So four wards on the ghouls. You did take all four. So. I'm going to all out attack one of these. Mm -hmm. So I'll roll the all out attack one. So it's going to be twos and twos. And sorry, what's the random bit? Before it's we... minus three. Yeah, okay. So all out defense isn't worth it. So that goes through minus three for four damage. Okay, so ward saves. He saves one of them, he's got a wound. One more shot. Fails. Is, Fuck. Yeah, I love to see it. Fuck. Surviving on one. I was really <laughs> hoping that you would fail them. Um, Darn. 
Okie cokey. Um, that is shooting phase nearly done. Mm -hmm. We will shoot into these gribblers over here. Yep. Threes and twos again. Hits. Wounds. Where was that on the surf? Uh, uh, so, four damage? Yes, four damage, mate. Here we go. All four taken. And sorry, it was those surfs, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's wonderful. All right. Um, bum, bum. What a shame. Nearly got the battle tactic there. We will go into charging. So, we'll charge with the War Stomper Gate Breaker first. On a seven. This one? Yes. He ran. Oh, yes, he ran, so yes. he can't. Sorry. Yeah, correct. I'd... Keep me right, Cam. <laughs> Broad the Gate Breaker. Up he goes. On a six. He's coming in. Yep. He gets into the range there. Boop. The impacts for him landing in. On a two up, goes off for D6. For D6. For six more Ooh, wounds. Six big hits on those ghouls. I take all six of them. We're going to go for this gate breaker over yonder. Uh, on a three. I'm going to re-roll that. Mm -hmm. On an eight. That should get me in. Yeah. Whoop. The whoop. And again, two up. Mm -hmm. It goes for D6. For four mortal wounds. Four mortal wounds. Four wards. Take all of them again. Okay, these four. Okie dokie. Um. <sighs> Gate break abroad is going to go for a stun, which goes off for D3 for one mortal wound. Mm -hmm. One ward. Saved. Saved. Um, over here, gate breaker is going to roar you. Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't. No, he's not. And I'm going to titanically roar you this time. So I've got to roll higher than your bravery, which is I'm fairly certain a 10. Yes. So looking for anything higher than a 10, nah, nothing goes. <coughs> Not the end of the world. Combat. Let's see. So I could strike there. Yeah, your options. And he's out of range, obviously. Yes. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to go here, and mm -hmm. I'm going to strike into your... Um, the what are they called? The Crypt Ghouls. Yeah. Is it the ones at the back, the big guys, yep, basically? Yep, yep. Um, okay, Doki. Almighty Storm coming in. Yep. This is from. Remind me what he has. Uh, he has the Almighty Stomp buff. So his stomp is minus three and a flat three. How many free rend things do you have? Um, two, two on this guy. Two, but then he has some two rend. I still all our defense them. Yep. Just to give them a bit more of survivability. I'm going to go for an all out attack. Yep. So this is going to be twos. One failing. Yep. Threes. Another fails. Mm -hmm. And the death grip is threes. Uh, sorry, twos. And twos. It goes off. That's minus two. Yep. So six ups. Go through. Damage. D6. Four two. two. What a shame. Two wards. Pass both of them. Very nice. The Fort Crusher Flail is going to be threes. And threes. So two go through minus three. Yep, how much damage? That is four damage a piece. Okay, so a total of eight wards. I save two of them, so I take six damage. So he drops, and one of them takes two. I was hoping for a little bit more out of that, but hey-ho. And then it's your combat, of course, Cam. My combat, cool. Uh, what I'll do is I uh, guess I'll go with my ghouls over here. Yeah, I'll strike sense. into the weaker Gargant. Yep. So, two, four, six, eight. Fortunately, there's only nine of the boys, so that's fine. Only nine, fellas. Nine of the gents. Okay, let's go. All right. 
So as they drop below, they're only getting all wounds on sixes now. If they, were, if they had one more guy, they would be getting them on fives. Ah. So miss, miss, miss. Miss, miss. Miss, miss. Cool, so that's three, plus these get re-rolled still. Four. So that's a total of seven saves. Take on your big guy. Um, oh, sorry, you okay if I all out defense? Uh, if you want, yeah, forgot about that. Um, so this would be threes. Mm -hmm. So you would take four mortal wounds back, and yep. I fail one. Okay, the four mortal wounds, it was against them. Save one, save two, save two. 19, where's 19? There it is. And is that that combat? Uh, yep, yeah, that, that one's done. Nope, no, no feeding frenzy or anything. Okie dokie. We will do uh, the glowy shield. Well, actually, we'll do the big boy. We'll mm -hmm. do the big boy. He will pile in three. It should get him to about here. Does that put him in range? I think it does. Mm -hmm. um, he will put some rounds into who is it that gives you the um 18 inch you don't have to pass this guy here that one hidden back there cool no problem um we'll do the almighty stomp mm -hmm. and the death grip into this guy yeah in fact fuck it the lot into that guy the lot into cool. that guy cool so six I'm doing the four crusher flails first. Yep. Fours, sixes on this, do D3 on top of whatever else they're going to do. So mm -hmm. I'm going to put two to the side. And three is this time. So that is a total of five at minus three. Five at minus three. He's probably in a bad spot now. Um, so... His base save is four up, so it'll go through how much damage? So that's 24 wounds. 24 yeah. wounds. He's pretty much screwed. I'm going to assume he's dead. I mean, all of those wards have failed. He will perish. Yep. And then it goes back to yourself, Cam. Okay, uh, do my three ghouls over here. Yeah. Sorry, four ghouls. So how they... dare you insult that last man? Yeah. He's, he's feeling it. it. He was chilling. Cool. So, here we go. So, two auto wounds and the rest miss. Okay, so simple. Two saves. Um, fours. Fail one, taking one. Yeah, one singular damage. A scratch on the toe, but a starting point. And is that that? No, I was going to say, if I'll, I'll pile back in yeah. and then I'll swing a bit. Can we get one of the boys in? Because I have one more combat. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah, do your combat first, sorry. I've got this fella, sorry. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, he will only get... He's on 19, so he's only going to get five fort crushers. So mm -hmm. I'll do them first, because hopefully that's enough. Fours. No. And threes. So two at minus three for eight wounds. Okay, so eight damage will go through. Should be enough, hopefully, to kill them. Uh, one, oh, two, good. Three, good warding. Four pass, so only three will perish. Good warding. The de, 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 de. the Almighty Stomp coming in next. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be plus one because of your wound characteristic. So yep. it's twos and threes. Hits. Mm -hmm. uh, one wounds. This is minus two. One at minus two, or oh, under the same ghouls. Yeah, under the same ghouls. How much damage? Um, it is D3 for two. Two. Two water. Fail both. The death grip is threes and twos. It fails. It's a miss. It's a miss. Swing and a miss. And that is the end of that combat. Mm -hmm. 
Do you have anything else? You've got your... Yeah, I've got my guys over there. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be one guy swinging in. It's the champion of the unit. Yep. So... Okay, so it's going to be five attacks. Okay, that's that. Right, let's go. So, um, hitting on, because you had Horfrost hitting on ones. So everything hits. Mm -hmm. Wounding on threes. Okie dokie. So, where we're at is that those ones that wounded on sixes do three damage. Yeah. And those ones that wounded separately do two. So if you roll them separately, it's going to be minus one rend, because it normally is zero, but with the, within... 18 inches up at Aberrant. So this is for the, the, these two. Yep. Uh, minus one rend, yep. so five. Yep. Saving so, one. So that's three damage so far. So I go to f I'm just going to do this now, because yep. otherwise I'll get it wrong. So four. Yep. And, and then I've got a further three to roll. Mm -hmm. Again, minus one, so five. So taking another one, and that's two damage. Yep. Is that right? Yep, so total of five. There we go. Right. End of combat, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, Absolutely. We do the scoring up. Mm -hmm. I have one, I have two, I have more. Yep. Fail my battle tactic, unfortunately. So I yep. get a lovely three. And then we go to the roll for turn. Okie dokie. Are you ready, Cam? Absolutely. Let's go. I'm going to use a big dice. Again. It Let's, failed me last time. Let's though. go. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, good. Um, it's actually really convenient if I can go second in a turn. But, because I get the extra cast. However, I will not be doing that right now because I need to turn. <laughs> right, okay, so we need to think of battle tactic. That you do. So I am going to go for. Got that guy there, got that guy there. That's a shame I failed splat. I would have really loved to have got it off. Um, right, I'm going to go for Surround and des Destroy. So I'll pick three units and they need to get to three separate board edges. So yep. this unit, this unit of ghouls, and that unit back there. Makes sense. Okay. Um, arcane Dice. So I generate for us. Um, heroic Actions. Can uh, we do that? Well, any order was really good as well. I fail. No, and then Acolytes gets yep, one. Yeah, you get one. And then Heroic Actions. Um... I need to go quite aggressive here, so I'm going to go Finest Hour on my Cool King on Zombie Dragon. I'm going to Finest Hour my General. Yep, cool, 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 cool. Right, uh, on to rolling for my Courtiers, bringing things back. So first things first, Fargo's Courtier. Can bring back one knight and three of them failed. So a knight will return. Yep. And then three ghouls return to a unit. Good recursion, good recursion. So, very nice. Three. Three screening. I'll go with this unit over here. Yep. And then my crypt gas court here over here will be the same. Yep. Brings back another five. Sounds good. Really good recursion on that army. Yeah, they do come back quite nicely. Especially for the knights, like getting a horror back is pretty juicy. Yeah, it's a lot of wounds you can bring back. And you're rolling a lot of dice, so you're going to yeah. get them quite frequently. Okay, you go there, you go there. Cool. Uh, collateral damage. Okay, you chill there. You've taken three wounds. He has, yeah. And nothing else is... Oh, so they took two wounds. These do heal in the hero phase, I believe. Righty ho. So they heal D3 wounds each hero phase. Healing three. three. So those wounds will be removed. Okay. With that, I'll go on to magic. So Sounds good. Where are we going with that? Two spells. Into pain in the backside. Um, what I'll be doing with this is that I will go for uh, this. I kind of want half. This is where I want a third spell. Yeah. At last, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go for half frost with my guy there. Firstly. Yeah. So starts off as seven. 
adding a primal die. You just need a one. There you are. Yeah. Okay. So that'll go off. So what am I getting? Three. I'll add that to their rend. Yep. And next spell. I might regret this, but I'm going to try and cast my endless spell, the Chalice of Ushiron. There it is. Okay. On that, uh, I want my primal. So that would be on a 11. Yep. That's with him. And you can't unbind, can you? I cannot. I should not have bothered rolling my primals. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> okay, so that gets set up within 24 inches. So this needs to go somewhere quite nice for me. I've knocked him again. He probably couldn't have gotten there before I got knocked. Because basically what this spell will do is that when things die within 12 inches of it, it gets a charge and then it can like bring back flesh eaters based okay. on those charges. Very cool. So that can go there. That hides there. That hides like that. Yeah, cool. I'll keep that there. Sounds good. Right, with that, I'll be going on to my movement phase. Awesome, awesome. This is the current state of our board. We'll be right back as soon as Cam's done some movement. Like that. Right, okie dokie. So with that, we uh, conclude my movement phase. So uh, what's basically happened is that those ghouls have moved up. These have pushed up and my ghouls have pulled out there. Uh, I retreated my ghouls from that combat to open up some space for my courtiers. I completely scuffed my battle tactic because I forgot I had to be outside of your territory. Not two, so I didn't realize it was two. So I have binned off my battle tactic. And with this, I'm going on to my shooting. Yep, go for it, friend. Right, okay. So I'm going to do Pestilent Breaths. So this one is going to go into your lower health gargant. Yep, so I will all out defense this yep. one. So there's a command point. So that's redeploy and that. Yep. So. It's the Royal Zombie Dragon. So let's go. So hitting on a three. It's looking like a miss. It misses. Okie dokie. The other one, I'll do it into the same target. Yep. Why not? It also misses. So, breaths have gone. I have no other forms of shooting. With that, we'll go on to charges. Sounds good. So, I'll start off with my Lord on Zombie Dragon here. On the seven. Looking, yeah, on the seven. So. There. Yep. Uh, I'll do my other zombie dragon here on the 11. 11. Very nice. But you know what? It's, there's an angle. He's just going to go in here. I need to start killing these gargants. Yep. Um, Fargo, of course, here will go for it as well. I just need to get things killed now. He will be on a six. He can fly. That could get him in abroad. And he will go in abroad. Um, anything else I want to charge? Nope. Right, monstrous abilities. Yours first. So over here, um, he will roar him. Okay. Which goes off. Okay. Um, I no, will put you in a headlock. Mm -hmm. So we both strike last. Yep, cool. Or, mm, no. Nope. I'm going to roar you. Yeah, you're yep. roared. Over here, I'll Titanic Duel, your lower health gatebreaker. He will... He's the one that's going to put you in a headlock and um, be scrapple you. Okay. One of three up. Okay. And um, we'll both strike last. Yep, yep, yep. Over here... I'm going to stomp your Vargulf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, D3 for two. Two. It'll take two war saves, saving none of them. He's taking two wounds. He's definitely taking three. Right, okay, and with that, we go on to combat phase. We certainly do. So. Um, I'll start off strong. I'll do my zombie dragon and your weaker gargan. Sounds if good. Can get one killed, that will be ideal. So, he is going to, with my final command point, mm -hmm. all out defense. Yep, 
wonderful. What's the mass, uh, max rend you've got on this? So this zombie dragon, first time you used it. Uh, snapping Maw is two rends, a sword like claws is one rend. Yeah, we'll do it. Yep, okay. So let's start off with the Snapping <coughs> Maw. Hitting on threes, so that's two hits. Uh, I don't think sixes do anything. Yep. Wounding on... Oh, sorry, it's hitting on fours, but that's fine. Uh, it hit wounding on threes, so that's one wound at minus two. Uh, minus one, fives. He's okay. He's absolutely fine. This, this dragon does not hit very hard at all, actually, now I'm looking at it. So the sword like claws, seven attacks in his top profile, hit on fours, that's one hit. No wounds. That, that's him done. Okay. That's um, the zombie dragon concluded. I'll pick my general yep. to go into your big guy. Yep. Almighty Stomp mm -hmm. is threes and threes. Both fail. Wonderful. Death Grip. Three and a two. Oh, and a dual dial wouldn't help. Hits. Fails. Yep. I've got it all out. Um, I'm fine to start so I'm plus one to wound, aren't I? Mm -hmm. um, so this is four crusher flail. It's fours and twos. Three miss. Yep. Twos. Wow. Let's <laughs> see it. What rank? One minus three. One at minus three, so his save, I'm fairly certain, is not free up. So how much damage? It's four damage. Four damage, so he has a total of 14 wounds. Four wards, save none of them, takes all four of them. Pretty whiffy from you, Mr. Gatebreaker. Pretty whiffy. It's how it do be sometimes. Yeah. Right, I'll do my Crypt Horrors over here. So I will pile in. Goes into there. Goes into there. Right, and that's them. So there's three of them that can attack this time. Yep. So four, eight, twelve plus champion. Okay. So now this hand they have improved rend. Okay. They got the minus three rend, didn't they? Yeah. So they're hitting the old whore for us. Hitting on fours. Okay, that's a good amount of hits. They are wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. Okay, no sixes to wound, which is a pain, but that's quite a few wounds anyway. So that is eight saves to take, and so it's free, but then they get... So basically, Horfrost sets their rent free, and they increase their rent by one while they're within 18 inches. That'll just pull through then, yeah. So two, four, six, eight. Eight times two is 16 damage. 24. And they will feeding frenzy. Yep. So do you get the strike again now? Yep. Immediately. Cool. Now there's five in range. Yep. Okay, slowly getting them in there. Okay, I think I got just about as many hits that time. The last time I was rolling very hot. Okay, so wounding on threes. Um, okay, so one six for three. Uh, it's still four rend. So I assume they just go through, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that's 14 plus three for 17 more damage. That'll be him dead. Excellent, I needed one to drop. Timber on a one. Uh, okay, am I roll, sorry? Yeah. My apologies. Five. I am going to go to this yeah, point. Yeah, can't do anything. Out of range. Yeah, should do. Sounds good. Can't hurt any other friendly megas, yeah. and it can't hurt you because yeah, you'd be three, three. back. Yep. Yeah, wonderful. You are golden. A mega has dropped. Yep. Uh, your next unit. This one. Yep. The one that is fighting your dragon. Mm -hmm. The almighty stomp. Threes and threes. One goes through. Mm -hmm. One failed. The death grip is threes and twos. 
it goes through. That is minus two. Minus two. Um, on the zombie dragon? Yep. Zombie dragon has a save of... Right, okay, it's got four up save, so two six ups. Yeah, uh, just one, sorry. Oh, one. Oh, both fell anyway. How much damage? So I get to roll two dice and pick the best, so six wounds. Six damage, so six wards. Pass none of them. Take all six of it. He's taken 19 wounds, so he gets five of his four crushers. Mm -hmm. Fours and threes. Oh, dear. Only the one. And it fails to wound. Excellent. So that will be that. You get your dragon back. Yep, so he has taken he's taken six. He's currently taken four. Right, okay, yep. So hopefully this one's a little bit better, but we'll wait and see. The King of Rotaro guys, I think I've just been spoiled by him. Yeah. By his six is like spiking for the mortals. That's beautiful. Okie dokie. So Ghoul King on Zombie Dragon. Yep. So he has suffered four wounds. Yep. Which means he is on his second profile now. So start off with the snapping more, hitting on fours, two hits, wounding on threes. He gets. We have one save at minus two. Uh, six up. Oh, you pass it. D six damage. Okay, and then the sword like claws. Uh, give me just two seconds. So I'm on six now. This is on this fella, isn't it? Uh, no, this is this guy, that guy. Into that guy, right? Even better. That would have been a five, sorry. So, so like close hit on four, so they whiff. Unlucky. And then gory talons and claws. Hang on, f five attacks hit on threes. That's four hits. And that's one save at minus one. So no rem, so four up. Mm -hmm. Easy, okie He's absolutely tanked it. That's fine. Cool. End uh, of combat. End of combat. So, got a score, and so you all still cap that point. I'll take that one, so I'll only get a one. I scuffed my tactic, so it's just a juicy one. A lovely, lovely one, mm -hmm. and it goes to myself. Um, I'm going to pick Intimidate the Invader. Yep. Been saving this for a little while. It's the easiest one for me to do, so uh -huh. time to use it. Uh, intimidate the Invader, hero phase. Yep. I am going to finest hour my injured yep. um, gatebreaker. Absolutely. What would you like to do, mate? Um, I think he... Ah, oh, he was fine, Um But that doesn't really matter too much before. I am going to... I might as well try and heroic heal this courtier. Yeah, go so for I it. I don't really want to get him sniped out. So he succeeds and he heals free. Very nice. Arcane dice don't matter. We go into movement phase. Yep. I'll be right back as soon as I've moved my one Gargan. Here we go. On second thoughts. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe and, not. And, and, and no movement. Let's no go. movement. Yeah, no I movement. So you're fairly locked in now. I am fairly locked in. So we're going to go into shooting phase. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, we'll do the mandatory shots that we have to do. So my general into your big guy on the zombie dragon fails. Mm -hmm. The other one hits on a two. It wounds. That's minus three. Minus three. Uh, so that'll go through. Four on damage. The zombie dragon. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Save one. Of Saves two. Saves two, very nice. And then over here, throwing into your Vargulf. Yep. Threes. Hits. And twos. Oop. Twos. Goes through minus three. Uh, I'll go through how much damage? Four damage. Four. Saves none of them. He has one rune remaining. Oof. I thought I might be cheeky and managed to snipe him out there with, with that you, rock. You were close. He took a lot of damage. Um, Okie dokie. We're going to go into charge phase. Yep. Sorry, I forgot to say, he ran uh, in movement. movement. I want. Is that okay if I make him run? Uh, it's for you, my you, grand You strat. need to run or charge, right? If you run, you can't charge. Yes, yes that's fine. That's fine by me. You, you don't I want to charge. Yep, yeah, no, that's oh, fine by that's, me. That's fine. I'm going to leave it there. Sorry, Cam. Mm -hmm. I forgot to say that. Um, yeah, that's fine. I don't want, don't want him to, to charge, mm -hmm. so that'll be fine. Um, shooting's done. Charging, well... Is done now. Yep. Um, combat. Yep. Monstrous Ro rampage. Yeah, absolutely. So I will roar you over here. Yep. Yep. You roared. What would you like to do, mate? Um, I'll roar back with this guy. Yep. I should only way around actually. Oh. Roar. What, what will he do? How are your next one? Sorry. Um, I can't stomp you. Mm -hmm. 
Titanic duel. Yep. Might as well. Titanic duel. Uh, I think that's the only thing I can do back. So, yeah, let's go. Might as well, eh? Might as well. Um, the first one I'm going to do is going to be in your big boy with the knight on the back. Yep. He is going to all out attack with my final command point for the turn flip. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be threes and threes. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. I will all out defense. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. So the sixes there do D3 on top of whatever else they're mm -hmm. going to do. So that is three going through at minus three. Three at minus three. So it means I get three six ups. Pass one. Damage. So that is a total of four, eight, uh, nine, eleven. Nine, eleven. I save one, two, three, four. I mean, I take seven, meaning I go up to eleven wounds taken. How many wounds has he got left, Cam? He's got fourteen total, so he's got three. Three. The death grip is going to be on a two. Mm -hmm. It's a spinner. Look at it go. And another two. It goes through. This one's minus two. Yep. Uh, that'll still go through. D6. Get the roll two dice for it. Ah, I'm going to pick the six, of course. Yeah, that's a good one. Right, okay. I need to save a lot of these. Nope, you will die. So, before I remove him, yeah. to see if he explodes like the other one. Yeah, of course. Nah, he doesn't, which is fine. Threat eliminated. One more man down. One more man down, and it's a big fucking man at that. <laughs> we will take that. Do you know what it is? That, that like, has soothed my soul. The amount of times that him and the other royal te uh, terror guys... The royal one really does a lot of damage. Absolutely wrecks. He just buffs more. Um, yes. But he still I think, scares I think, me. I think, I think I like the other one more. Now that yeah. Think, but a lot of people, when they play competitive lists, play this one. But play I, think, one. I think it's just because of the that reroll wound aura, which yeah. is very strong. Yeah. Right. Okie dokie. Okay. Um, you get your strikes with your big boy. Yeah, let's go. So, he is an. Yep, so I'm going to strike into your weak gargons, the one who hasn't struck. Yep. So, first things first, the snapping more. Yep. So, it hits on fours. Two Oof, hits. Very nice. Oh, wait, no, three hits because of Titanic yep. kill. Wounding on threes. Uh, two saves to make up minus two. So he's finest houred. Mm -hmm. So he will be minus two. So five. Saves one of them. Saves one of them. It's d6 damage. So a mighty one. Taking him to 20. Eight. And then sword bite claws going into him. So hitting on fours normally, but plus one because of Titanic Duel. Yep. Winning on threes. That's three saves to make up minus one. Uh, no rend because of my glowy shield of protectiveness. Yep. So fours. Saving one. Um, you'll be if you've got that and you've got finest tower, you'll negate the rend and still get a plus one. Ah, so, so even still, I fail both yeah. of them. So, so it's just two, two damage two, each. Two damage each. So four. Yep. And then I will feeding frenzy that guy. Of course. I'll save the command point for it. Let's go snapping more. Three hits. Yep. Three wounds. Three saves at minus two. So, uh, minus one, so fives. Nope. Love to see it. D6 damage each. This is what I needed. Ow. 11, 15 damage. Kills him. That's good stuff. Timber. Timber roll. Oh. I'm getting this. Yeah. He's going to go on to your, your dragon. How many wounds has your dragon got left? Uh, he's got six left. Six left. So if I go there. You'll hit, you can hit the dragon hit the and the ghouls. Yeah. That's, that's the, the sweet spot, I think. So what I'll do oh, is... Or you can go that way and try and kill the Vargulf. That is an option. I'll do that, if that's okay. Yeah. So I'll go into the middle of them both, two. Which... So for the Vargulf, yep. it is going to be three mortal wounds. You'll die. And then for the dragon, it'll be just the one mortal wound. Mm -hmm. One save on the dragon. Save the dragon's one. Very nice, very nice. And that'll be it. Yep. Um, end of phase. Battle shock. There's no battle shock for us to take. Yep. So we just go into score and I have one. I have two. I have more plus my battle tactic. So I get a juicy five. Yep. That takes me up to 13. Right. I need to start really scoring hard here. And into the roll for turn. Yeah, let's go. I'm using a little dice. It's betrayed me too many times. Ooh. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> it still betrays me on the one. Uh, the fun, I'll take it because I need to stop you scoring now. Yep. I need to score heavily. Okay, so 
Um, two, three. You know, it's hilarious. I think my Chalice has charged up to three now. Because three things have died and they've all been like massive Yours. blue monsters. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Fargolf as well. Four. Actually, I'm hoping it, it can use both sides. Let me check that. It's the first yeah. time I've used Chalice as well. Yeah, no problem. Chalice no is a, problem. A very interesting spell for this list. It's the first time I've ever seen it. It's a lovely looking model as well. Ah, it's nice. I really like it as well. Yeah. Big vibe. Right, I think I just need an easy score. So I think Intimidate the Invaders is the angle. I've got currently got one, two, three units out. I have one, two, three, four in. I'd need to push out a lot. Oh, what are my other options? I can maybe do in that turn five is the angle. I am going to start right. a struggle now, unfortunately. Right, this is all led into the male's triangle. Yeah. Right, cool. Um, so, led into the male's triangle, heroic abilities. Yeah. Um, I will... I get three command points. What would you like... Well, it's your turn, so what would you do Heroic first? leadership with my guy back there, my arch regent, who doesn't get it. He'll try and dispel. Okay, he's going to go for that. Yeah. Okie dokie. He's going to try and dispel your... I've only got one caster now. Oh, okay, yeah, you want to go yeah. for the endless spell? That's want to go for that. So well, it... before it goes off, I'll just make sure when it. When you triggered. get your thing, because that's it. I'm trying to deny it. So if it goes off now, uh, I'll hang fire. Oh, it's at the end of each turn. So sorry, that would have gone off last yep. turn, but it'll still be going for a thing. So I don't, I'm only rolling four dice. For every four, I can remove, return a wound to a model. So flesh you a cut model or... A, turn a model to a unit with one wound. I think I'll just heal him four wounds. Yep. So that's still there. I don't think it gets removed. So you can still dispel it. Yep. The idea is, is that I throw in that 30-man blob and it stacks up to 30 and it comes back. But I just didn't have enough casting and there's other things I want yeah. to cast. I'm, I'm going to go for it. So yeah. you got a it. seven? It casts on a six. So that will be gone. <sighs> and even though that's useful... I think I just need to get you off the board now. Yeah, you just so, need to table me. Uh, arcane dice? Yep. I generate. Nope. You don't, and then my three up one? Yes. I'm going to haul frost with him. Mm hmm. Which would be on a eight. It's going off. I'll I've add, spent uh, my thing. Um, so it just goes. Does haul frost cast on eight? Yeah, haul frost's an eight. Merciless blizzards are 12. Right, okay, I'm with you. Yeah. Cool. It's, so I'll roll my die. You see two. I'll still give it to those boys. Yeah. So that's going to be the rend. Sounds good to me. Okay. Cryptgas Cortia. He's going to roll. I'm going to pick the combat phase to be the disruption. Yep. Uh, oh, at the start, you know, at an angle. That 30 man blob, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to rally that 30 man blob right. first. Two. 12. You're disrupting the combat phase. Disrupting the old combat phase. 10, 14. So 18 dice, 6 up, so they come back. I see 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 ghouls returning. 4 gribbly boys. And then now I do my actual courtier. It means I get more dice in general. So, six dice. I return five more. Yep. Okay, many ghouls are showing up. Um, okay. With that, I go on to my movement. So, yep. we'll pause it right there. We'll be right back. Right, and that concludes my movement. So I ran my two ghoul squads over here to try and pen them in first before moving up my ghouls, and that stopped them from getting any meaningful redeploy. So they should be going into his face this turn. I've then just moved my ghouls and my crypt gas core to you here, ready to try and charge and get my battle tactic. So with that, I'll go into shooting. Yep. I've only got that guy. He's going to do his poison breath into your guy. Yep. So I uh, believe it's a hit on three, wound on two angle. Sounds good to me. So... I'll just confirm that before I go any further. 
So yeah, Pestilent Breath hits on freeze. Arter Wounds based on his profile, actually. Yep. So on this one, he's taken four because he's healed a lot. Wounding on freeze. Ah, bugger. So no wound. No, okay. No wound. Okay, and with that, we go on to charges. Sounds good. So I'm going to start with my little gribbly guy here. Yeah. Crypt Escort here. Going seven, which kept him in. So if I overwatch and kill him. So for the command, let's find out. Oh, wait, you can't overwatch because you're locked in combat. But, ah, right. But yes. that's a very interesting little concept, actually. Because I was just thinking about, could I overwatch him? But yes, already being in combat. I mean, I think it still counts as a successful charge because it ha you overwatch after the movement. After the movement yeah. achieved, yeah. Yeah. I'll do the school unit. Yes, sir. But I'd, I'd have to check that one. Oh, Ooh. double one. Um, I'm going for it anyway. I'm going to re-roll it. Okay. I might regret this. We'll wait and see. Getting seven. Surely I don't get double one twice, right? Famous last words. Famous last words, yeah. Yeah. If there was a, ever a fool's hope, Cam, it was that fool's hope there. Yeah. That, like, Cam's going to roll a double one next. As I, like, like on, on paper, like, yes. I, sh I should be fine, right? Yes. <laughs> However, I can't not be nervous now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. Them boys are coming for me. Ah, uh, they got they got a ravenous hunger. Right, and now's my nervous little one. So my crypt got guys over there. Oh, Ooh. plenty. There we go. They're in nice and comfortably. In plenty. Well, let's just get bodies on the point while we're on. What's your lowest bracket for my um, yeah, for capping? I mean, actually, I don't even think it matters if I get 12. 12. But yeah. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah, I went, I went out muscle yet, no one dies. But I imagine someone will die if he's still alive. Right, okie dokie. Monstrous abilities. Yes, o yours first. Over here, I roar. Which goes off, I believe. Um, roar is indeed on a 2. Yep. Or is it not Stomp that's on a two? Stomp might be a two. You, I'll double check it. Fairly you... sure it's to the way. Um, I'm roaring you, sorry. Where are I, sorry? Just here. Yep. Okay, and what's your next one? Um, I'm going to... It's a free up, so I do not roar you. That's great. Um, I'll Stomp over there. Oh, nope. No, not quite. No, I won't. Okay, come back. Right, okay. Well, I go with the more important one. It's going to be over yeah. here. So, I want to make sure he gets... A... Eating off the board. Gonna all out defense, my young man. Yep. Three, four, five, six, and champion. Right, here we go. So I am hitting on fours, and that is some very, very, very good rolling. This is where the wheels might start to fall off the wagon. It's, have I done enough? Yeah, I was going to say, there's a big gap in victory points right now. It currently should be 6 to 13, is it? Yes. Yeah, so I need to just really try and score and to stop you scoring. So, wound rolls, wounding on, I think it's threes. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely freeze. Yep. Okie dokie. So first thing to is pick up the sixes. So those will be three damage. That's five sixes. Mm-hmm. And four fails. So these are two, four, six, eight, nine. So the five, five sixes. Five. So there'll be two rent from Horfrost plus one for being within range of my aberrant. So, so my three runs. I'm on sixes. Yep. One. One saved. So that's four go through for 12 damage. Yep. And then it's nine save, two damage. 12. Um, so I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, six, nine. Yeah. Sixes. Yep. None of them. 
Oh, okay, so it's two damage each for 18, I believe. Yep, I want to say... Doesn't quite kill him, he's on five wounds. Five wounds. Ah, oh, it's a wasted feeding frenzy, but it's still a feeding frenzy. Yep. So, let's go. Less hits this time. Yeah. I think I've had some quite good swings of these boys. I mean, hitting on fours is always brutal for anything. Yeah. Naturally, fives. I think that feels like sometimes if you hit on fives, it's not even worth rolling. Yeah, I often feel that with my uh, with my skinks. <laughs> yeah. You're never expecting much. You're just it's... like, well, I'll fucking do I really? Can I be asked to roll these dice? It, it's still a gut punch, isn't it? It is. Skinks. Oh, no sixes there, my guy. We'll take that. However, you only need to do five wounds. Uh, two, four, six, eight, uh, eight saves. To take yeah, it. that'll be enough That's to kill him, Mike. Looking for the god roll here. He's dead. Cool. Um, Timber. Uh, yep. Let's get these dice out the tray first. Go for it, Cam. There's a cheeky two. Uh, a three. three. Where do you want it to go? I'm going to go that way. Uh, yep, if you go like... There, yep. I think you'll hit, you'll hit both units. So for the small ones, yep, they're taking three. Yep. So three wards, three die, and the horrors are taking two, and two wards for the horrors. They take both those wounds, and the gargan perishes. That's good to see. Good to see, but then it's you to pick a unit. Yeah, so I'm going to go for my big boy. Mm -hmm. um, everything but the death grip is going to go into the Everything dragon. but the death grip. Yes. I think there's a better player here. Okay. Oh, God, a little guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting strangled. Um, not even the little guy. It's more the squad. Mm. I just want to try and take some bodies off the squad. I'm with you. Um, to try and see if I can at least get score one. Mm -hmm. Because I'm out of the game now. There's very little I can do in terms of scoring battle tactics, so it's mm -hmm. just kind of hold the point. So, um, we'll do the death grip first on the dragon and everything else after. Yep. Um, all out attack, so twos. Yep. Twos. So that goes through, it's minus two. Minus two, so that'll be six up saves. Uh, it's just one dice, sorry, oh, Cam. Sorry, one dice. Yep. Six up saves, it goes through. So this is where I roll two and I get to pick the highest. Four, so it's four wounds. Right, four war saves. I save none of them. Takes all four. The almighty stomp into these guys. Hitting on twos. Yep. Wounding on threes. Uh, one goes through minus two. Under this squad here. Yep. That goes through. Damage. D3. For three. Three wards. Save none of them. The fort crusher. Mm -hmm. Is going to be threes and threes. Sixes doing that special shit again. Yep. So all of them hit. So two miss. So that is four going through minus threes. Four times four is 16. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, so 17 wounds. 17 wounds. Okay. So these are ward saves. So, it's easy to count the passes. One, two, three passes. So, 14, 14 die. go, yeah. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Yep. Yep. That's that. That is him. Right. So, I guess I'll go over this side. Yep. Failed my raw, so I'm hitting on normal with the dragon. Yeah. Didn't type out your. Uh, I'll just do the little gribbly guys first. Why yeah, not? why not? Why not? Here we go. So, hitting on fours. Fours. Uh, oh, I 
Sixers would have been a lot of hits on the first. I thought it was ruined for a second. That's just four saves, no rend. Four saves, no rend. So, fours. Oh, oh it's okay, rolling. Two go through. Just one damage a pop. One damage a pop. Right, okay, I'll do my court here. Yep. Little crit gassed guy. Okay, so he'll use his bone club first. Yep. And he's gonna try and do some bonking. And because he's close to surf, he can re-roll hit rolls of one. So hitting on freeze, all hit. Wounding on freeze, all wound. Free saves to take no rend. Fours. Saving one. Uh, just one damage. So four. And then filthy claws. I uh, get to re-roll that one. So two hits. And two saves to make it no rend. Fours. Fail both. Just one damage each. Six. Okay. And then I drag in last. Yep. So I'll do... How many wounds have you guys taken? Six. He's not dying. Okay, I'll do his, his more first. His big one. They all miss. Then I'll do his... Sword like talons. So mm -hmm. he has taken eight wounds, meaning he gets five attacks. Hit on fours, one hit. Wounding on threes, no wounds, so no damage. Okay. And with that, we go towards the end of turn. Yep. So, I will keep my tactic of in the Maelstrom. Yeah. So here on the battle line, I charge and still in combat. And then I'll have one, two more. So I'll take five points there, thank you. A lovely 11. Okay. This is where I think, unfortunately, it do swing. Um, battle tactic, there isn't one I can select. Mm-hmm. Um, is there nothing at all you can do? No. This is unfortunately where this list starts to struggle. Yeah, when there's no bodies. Not, not even that there's no bodies, it's just that there's not really any good battle tactics for me to select. Yeah. Um, we'll go for Colossal Violence. Mm -hmm. So I need to try and kill your zombie dragon. Yep, that's, that's very doable. We'll just go for that. Um, hero phase. Yep. He's already finest houred, so I'll roll for a command point on him. He gets it. Yep, and for myself, um, I will go for a command point over here with my yep. little crypt gas court here, which I get. Nice. Um, arcane dice don't matter, of course. Yep. We go into movement. Well, I can't move. Um, we go into shooting now. So, yep. one shot. This is threes and twos it, into your it, zombie dragon. I will all out defense with the free one. Yep, of course. Threes. Fails. That's fine. We go into combat. Um, yep. Monstrous Rampage, I'm going to Titanic Duel you. I will roar. She goes off. Nice. So we're doing the Almighty Storm first. This is two attacks, it's threes and threes. Yep. One fail. Oh, sorry, I'll all, actually, will I all at defense him? Yeah, I'm going to all at defense him because I want cool. to stay alive. Minus two. Minus, one at save. Uh, minus two. Okay. Uh, just one, sorry. Just one. Ah, oh, God, I keep doing that, sorry. Uh, that'll go through. Damage. D3. Oh. For three. Four saves. Save one of them. He takes two. He's got four wounds remaining. The death grip. Threes and twos. Fails. This is the almighty. Is it freeze base? Yes. The titanic jewel. Oh, yes, I would. Yes. Hit. So it goes through. This is minus two. Yep. So it's three up to five up save. Oh, my God. Nope, damage. D6. It's a spin up. For two. Two, two ward saves. Take both of them. He's got two wounds remaining. The Fort Crusher Flail yep. is going to be threes and threes. So two go through minus three. Right, that'll be six ups. Pass one of them. Four damage. Four damage. I need to pass. Three of these wards. No, he dies. Some dragon will perish. That's that. So, and I'll make sure he doesn't explode. Yep. The other one of them does. No, he, nothing there. Okay, some dragon will perish. Okay, and you will, of course, get your combat back. Yep. So, um, yeah, I'll do me little. Your little boy first. First, yeah. So it's club. Yep. Get two hits. Uh, one save, uh, no rend. Uh, fours, he's good. There's talons, gets two hits. 
One save at no end. Pause. He's good. And then I've got my ghouls. Okay. Yep. No auto oh. wounds. Literally just two hits. And two wounds. So two saves, no rend. Okie dokie. Fours we're looking for. Go on, you, yeah, you pick him. Uh, fail them both. One damage each. And now I might as well just feeding frenzy them. Yeah. Okay, the point. Uh, no, I won't. Because last turn I would, you would have battle shock on those, I think. And I would have passed it with that. So actually I'm not feeding frenzy. Because that would have been my point spent. Right. Yeah. No problemo. So at the end of the turn, mm -hmm. you have no battle shock to take. Uh, nope. Um, we go into score and I have one. And battle tactic yep. takes me three, so I'm on 16. 16, 16 to 11. 16 to 11. Right. Correct. Okay, priority. Three and four, you get it. I'm going to take it, I might as well. Now mm -hmm. I am struggling. I'm going to opt to do the wrecking crew. Mm -hmm. Which is destroy or demolish your faction terrain. Okay. So I believe I can retreat out of combat over there. You can. And get the you just need to make sure demolish off. It'll be in the combat phase, so you'll need to make sure you end your movement more than three inches away from enemies. I would be able to do it even still. I wanna say Oh no, because I'm retreating, sorry, Correct. yes. Correct. Yes. So as long as you can move there, you've got the option. I should be able to. Mm -hmm. So, um hero phase, I'm going to roll for a command point on him. Yep. Which I don't get. And I'll try and get a command point with my Crypt Gas there. Which I do get. Yep. Um, movement. Yep. We'll be right back as soon as I've redeployed this Gargant. Okay. The Gargant has been moved. I was just joking with Cam. We're deep in sweat. <laughs> we, are, we are sweating this one out to try and just continue to eke this hole out. So we have retreated, I believe because we've retreated you can't shoot. Um, you cannot, no, unless you have a rule that says so you can. So, no shooting. We just go into the combat phase now, in which I am trying to, and let's just show you on this one, trying to smash up that bit of terrain feature. So, I believe it's on a three. Uh, I'll get it, if you want to roll your dice, it might yeah. be different for Gargant. No, unfortunately, we don't get, it's always daft. We should get a bonus, like a plus one to try and smash things with a gate breaker, for example. Yeah. But you just don't get it. Free up. It's fairly small. It's demolished. Right, and that'll be two victory points for that. Two victory points plus the war. Uh, yes, so I'm off the point. Yeah, so That's I'll, I'll take that off you now. Taking me over to 18, and Eight. then Cam, it's over to you, my so friend. I'm currently at 11, is that correct? You are, yes. So my strategy would be intimidate the invader. Yep. So I will just move these guys up. I mean, I'm not bothered with the hero phase and such because yeah. I think I just need to score. Yes. And I'm laughing. So that should be more out. So that would be my battle tactic. Yeah. I'd take three. So I'd get five from that. Yeah. That would take you on to 16. Yep. And that would then take us into turn five. Uh, well, is that not turn five? Am I, am I out of my mind? Oh, no, no, no. Yes, that would have been turn five. Yeah. Yes, you're correct. I've, I'm, I'm crazy. And then you get. So my so then we go into grand strategies, grand strat. which is where I've, I think you just take me. So I had spell casting savant. So One's alive, so you get there. your additional. And you beat chilling. me by one. I, was, I think I did the maths like last turn. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're gonna beat me just by one, my friend. Good game, GG. Really, really good game. Really good game. Just taking it by that one. If I'd got that splat, if I'd only got that splat on your uh, on your little surf, I would have <laughs> so gotten it. That would have done it. That yeah. clutch ward save though. That, the, that really clutch ward save came in. Saved his backside. Absolutely massively. Um, yeah, it, it's it was that thing of we kind of got we got into a good position. I'll uh, I'll just pull this back for a second. Uh -huh. We got into a good position early doors with the gargants, and then all of a sudden. It very, very quickly got away with us. And a kind of turn three, turn four. Yeah, like on turn two, when I got the priority, I wanted to, like, obviously I took it because I was scared of just going in full yeah, ghoulism, full just ball. annihilating me. But I was kind of in a spot where I wasn't sure how I would throw all my might into you. 
Yes. Like, I, I could have charged in my two dragons, but then the moment I did that, one of them would have been suplexed and abroad, and then I think that one would have just been bonked out of the game it's, right then and there. It's a real threat being able to redeploy that monster. Yeah. And especially when it is a really important hammer piece for yourself. The, the buff or and I mean, I thought it would do more damage looking back. It didn't. It, yeah. it just buffs a lot more, whereas obviously the Arch Regent on Zombie Dragon yeah. with the spiking more sixes does Can really so much do more. well. Yeah, yeah, that's incredibly good. Um, the MVP for me, definitely the Crypt Horrors. Yeah, they, they did. It. They just ate whatever they wanted. They in did the exactly end. what they needed to do. Get, yeah. get Horfrost on them, minus three, and then and plus, run forward well, with things. it's those things with like the additional plus one that like you can do with Chaos Knights. Anything yeah. that gets a plus one to something can be quite brutal this yeah. year. Yeah. Especially if they have multi-damage character like profiles. So when they get their sixes, they're rolling a lot of dice. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them do get sixes. Yes. So yeah, yeah those are scary. And they spiked an awful lot of damage. I just, as you saw, you know, being able to take a gargan out of a turn uh, is is pretty hellish. Yeah, damage that, that's a huge output. So yes, they they were definitely the MVP for you. I think the MVP for myself was going to be my general, uh -huh. managing to stick out yeah. towards the end, holding out the entire time. I, I took the chalice. I definitely I made some alteration because I did want to have two ghoul kings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I ended up so having the vargul on there, which means I couldn't actually summon a vargul for or a yeah, forty because yeah. I didn't have one. But yes, I think this list could have really benefited with one more caster yes. just to comfortably cast that chalice. Because even though I got f only four things on it, yeah. Four wounds into my dragon was huge. Yes. And considering I had a unit of 30 constantly getting spanked and coming back, yep, there yep. was a lot of value there that I wasted. The recursion on that army is insane. It's it's yeah. really good value. Being yeah. able to bring those ghouls back over and over into a massive gargan and essentially just tie up two gargans all game. Yeah, they just stood there. The thing with the gargan is that they obviously they have high rend, so they're yep. better in lower health, yes. higher, well, lower wound, higher save models. Yeah. Whereas here, I was like, okay, your damage goes through. Let's yes. see if you can kill all the bodies. Exactly. <laughs> I've got enough bodies on the point. Can I do the damage? Yeah. Can I do the damage? And, and for some part of it, yes. Most part of it, no. Yeah. Just unable to kind of clear the, the entire troop away. So just struggled on that final part. And that's, of course, where death thrives on that recursion. When you can't finish your meal. Ah, uh, it just comes back. Brings them well, back. Like that two quickly went back up to a good 20 plus. Oh, God, it, I. It, I. And the wounds started to bounce back up as well. So it's it's really good. It's really good. Yeah, it, it's fun to play. There's definitely a lot of things with Flash Eaters. I think they definitely, I know why they're a strong unit at the faction at the moment. Yeah. Obviously, Horfrost works well on those re-rolling wounds. Yes. They're, they're just left behind in time and they've got all the strong re-roll yes. things, which every other faction's been gutted of. Yeah, yeah. So... The buck, I'm hoping the Flash Eaters get a new buck soon because they need it, but they're still fun to play right now. Oh, God, I, yeah, there's, there's still an awful lot of play into them. There's yeah, still an awful lot of play. Absolutely. Well, if you enjoyed that video, please do give the video a like. Maybe even comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see next, which factions, because we've got an awful lot of factions. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of the thing is, like, what do I play? <laughs> well, that's half the battle sometimes. So yeah. if, you, if you have a faction that you want us to play, do let us know in the comments below who you want to play it. Uh -huh. That's always nice as well. We've got a range of players with different tactical devious minds. Uh -huh. So that would be good. Wicked, mate. Thank you very uh, much. No, it's okay. That's one in the bag. That was a good game.